Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. American Chopper premiered on the Discovery Channel in 2003, relatively early in the reality TV era, and the show's unique mix of human relationships and workplace drama really helped solidify the format followed by the countless other reality shows set in interesting and unusual places of business. The action on American Chopper went down at Orange County Choppers, a top-notch motorcycle customization shop in southern New York State. American Chopper rolled off into the sunset in 2010, and its spin-off, American Chopper Senior vs. Junior, departed in 2012, only to return to TV in 2018. Here's what Senior, Junior, and the rest of the OCC staff got up to in the meantime. Paul Tuttle Sr. established some side hustles. With American Chopper winding down, Paul Tuttle Sr. began looking for some new ways to generate income, especially methods that could benefit from his celebrity. Similar to how world-famous Gold and Silver Pawn Shop in Las Vegas from Pawn Stars became a tourist attraction after being featured on TV for years, Tuttle aims to make Orange County Choppers a fan destination. In 2019, OCC announced plans to turn part of the 90,000-square-foot building in Newburgh, New York into a family fun center, which will include an arcade, go-kart racing, laser tag, escape rooms, a virtual reality area, and other such diversions. Mikey Tuttle explored his creativity. Paul Tuttle Sr. and Paul Tuttle Jr. frequently and loudly disagreed throughout their years together on American Chopper. Fortunately, there was a third member of the Tuttle family around to maintain a tenuous peace, Mikey Tuttle. Hired at first to do entry-level work around Orange County Choppers, emptying the garbage, answering the phones, things of that nature. A funny and friendly guy, he did his best to keep things chill in the shop and in his bloodline. But a man can only take so much. He walked away from the Chopper franchise in 2012 so that he might, according to the Discovery Channel, seek some peace of mind and work on my relationship with my dad. He did come back to work, however, pitching in at both OCC and Paul Jr. Designs. Paul Sr. got sued by his business partner. American Chopper returned to TV in 2018. A beneficiary of the television-wide reboot craze in which a variety of old familial favorites shot new seasons of episodes, it's amazing that even happened for American Chopper, seeing as how the previous attempt to revive the show Orange County Chopper's American Made was mirrored in lawsuits. According to Page Six, in April 2017, Thomas Derbyshire filed a lawsuit in Delaware State Chancery Court arguing that Tuttle, who's his business partner, used the money Derbyshire poured into OCC, American Made, for personal use. In other words, fraud. Things also soured when Tuttle attempted to change his own deal with Derbyshire from 51-49 in favor of Derbyshire to a 50-50 split. Derbyshire also said in his filing that Tuttle delayed production by taking a long fishing trip and when he did show up to shoot, wouldn't do scenes with Hell's Angels higher up Rusty Coons, which was contractually obligated. Derbyshire says Tuttle also made product placement deals without his approval. Vinny DiMartino switched from two wheels to four. American Chopper fans came for the bikes, but stayed for the fights. Paul Tuttle Sr. and Paul Tuttle Jr. frequently argued over just about everything. That makes for great addictive reality television, but things still had to get done around the shop at OCC. And so, fabricator and mechanic Vinny DiMartino tried to keep his head down and get to work, always trying to remain dedicated to his craft. In 2007, he left OCC and, subsequently, American Chopper, out of professional boredom and the need to grow. DiMartino founded his own shop, V-Force Customs. I had gone as far as I could there, DiMartino wrote on Via Force's now defunct website. I really didn't have any chance for advancement, and I had always wanted to have my own shop, so the natural progression was to leave and start my own place. He ran V Force for five years, even working as an outside contractor for Paul Tuttle Jr. In 2013, DiMartino abandoned bikes for cars. He sold off all his bike stuff, bought some car shop stuff and opened DiMartino Motorsports, a car and truck repair company in Walden, New York. Rick Petko builds bikes as well as knives. 
Rick seemed like an even-keeled guy on American Chopper. He took a job as a builder and fabricator at OCC not long after cameras rolled on the show's first season, and he happily built all kinds of interesting rides. Even when the Paul Tuttles split up to run separate shops and attempted to keep as many OCC employees on their sides, he was still working at OCC by then, but tired of his 90-minute commute each way from his home in northeastern Pennsylvania to the shop to southern New York, he took a job as the chief fabricator at the Pocono Mountain Harley-Davidson Complex in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, roughly a mile from his home. That brings us to the end of today's video. Anyways, be sure to leave a like to the video if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in the next one.